मेक योर मनी वर्क फॉर यू ये तो हम सब ने सुना है बट नो वन इज फेली गाइडेड टू डू सो आज भी हम सब पैसे के पीछे भाग रहे हैं पैसा 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 मनी 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 बट वॉट द यूज ऑफ सच मनी विच मेक्स यू स्ट्रेस ऑल द टाइम अबाउट योर फाइनेंशियल कंडीशन फाइनेंशियल प्लानिंग इज ऑफन एज्यूम्ड एज इन्वेस्टिंग बट वी स्किप द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट स्टेप विच इज प्लानिंग योर एक्सपेंसिस इनकम एसेट्स एंड लाइबिलिटी प्लानिंग द फर्स्ट स्टेप टूवर्ड्स फाइनेंशियल प्लानिंग इज फाइनेंशियल अवेयरनेस एंड एजुकेशन हम में से कई लोग जिम जाते हैं बट वर्किंग आउट इज नेवर इनफ इफ यू डोंट हैव अ गुड डाइट प्लान राइट सिमिलरली इफ यू आर नॉट फाइनेंशियली अवेयर एंड कीप इन्वेस्टिंग इन द बेस्ट एसेट क्लास यू विल नेवर गेट फाइनेंशियल वेल बींग सो लेट्स फाइंड आउट इन टूडेज एपिसोड वॉट फाइनेंशियल प्लानिंग एंड अवेयरनेस आर एंड वॉट आर द राइट स्टेप्स टूवर्ड्स इट Hi, I'm Gorav Karnik. I've been into personal finance space for last 10 years. We've been helping individuals and families to achieve their financial goals. Uh, we've done that for 600 plus families. One thing that motivates me to do it is improve the relationship with money that people have and also at some point uh, help them gain uh, control over their finances and have financial freedom so that money means lot more than survival for them. द फॉर वन थिंग दैट कम्स इन द माइंड इज की खर्चे के बारे में सोचना है कल्चरली वी आर ऑलवेज प्रोग्राम टू थिंक अबाउट कि अर्निंग कैसी करनी है पैसा कैसे बढ़ाना है उसके बारे में सोचो राइट और रॉन्ग बट वी गेट आर एजुकेशन ऑल्सो थिंकिंग दैट वील अर्न मनी एंड दोज प्रोफेशन विच अर्न मोर आर आर सेलिब्रेटेड लाइक बी इट डॉक्टर्स इंजीनियर्स बी इट एनी ऑफ दी ऑफ दीज थिंग्स राइट वी आर नॉट प्रोग्राम टू थिंक अबाउट एक्सपेंसिस वी आर नॉट प्रोग्राम टू थिंक अबाउट the real life situations where money is needed so it takes time for us aisa nahi hai ki hum nahi karte uh, when someone goes through certain hard times then they start valuing planning uh, that much more right it's it's like saying that the kid who has failed in maths will then take efforts to be more systematic about studying maths right also i feel that we have not seen more of uh, role models uh, where we have seen that people have planned and did, did things कल्चरली हमें यही बताया जाता है कि आप खर्चे के बारे में इतना मत सोचो वो तो कर लोगे आप वी ऑल्सो केम फ्रॉम अ बैकग्राउंड जहाँ पे हम लेट से दो जोड़ी कपड़े से आए और हमने सब किया सो विद द थॉट प्रोसेस दैट वी हैव इज की प्लानिंग वो सब चीज के ऊपर ज्यादा सोच सोच नहीं देते वी आर ऑलवेज टोल्ड डेट एजुकेशन के बारे में प्लानिंग करो करियर के बारे में प्लानिंग करो ठीक है क्योंकि ये चीजें मायने रखते हैं इससे तुम्हें पैसा आएगा सो समवेयर वो सर्वाइवल माइंड सेट वजह से हम ये नहीं सोचते कि एक्सपेंसिस के लिए क्या लगेगा या हार्ड टाइम्स के लिए क्या लगेगा दीज आर दिंग्स वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू थिंक ऑफ हार्डवर्क करो सही बोला आपने वी आर अगेन वी आर नॉट टॉट की मनी को हार्डवर्क करो ओके सो बैरियर पहला तो उधर ही आ जाता है आवर रिलेशनशिप विद मनी इज एंड टू मीन मतलब पैसा आएगा चीजों के लिए लगेगा वी डोंट सी मनी एज अ एम्पावरिंग एनर्जी जहां पे आपको क्या लाइफ में करना है उसके लिए पैसा लगेगा यू हैव टू स्टार्ट थिंकिंग की कहाँ पे मुझे क्या करना है बेसिकली विच मीन दैट द पावर ऑफ चॉइस इज योर्स वेर एज आर रिलेशनशिप विद मनी फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ अस इज दैट पैसा मिल जाए बहुत सही चीज़ है चलो आज पाँच लाख कमा रहा हूँ कल दस लाख मिल जाए बहुत सही चीज़ है हम ये नहीं सोचते कि दस लाख की वजह से मैं ये ये कर पाऊंगा दुनिया में वी डोंट सी मनी एज अ एम्पावरिंग फोर्स और एनर्जी फॉर अस एंड दैट्स वेयर द थॉट प्रोसेस बैरियर आ जाता है फॉर प्लानिंग वेन आई आस्क क्लाइंस टू फिल अ क्वेश्चन है एंड टेल अस अबाउट वॉट दे वॉन्ट टू डू विद देयर मनी इन लेट से टू ईयर्स फाइव ईयर्स और टेन ईयर्स दैट्स वेयर दे गो ब्लैंक because we have never put our thought process there and that's why it's little more difficult matlab paisa kamane ke liye bhi mehnat karu aur fir baad mein kharchne ke liye bhi isme mehnat karte the that's why procrastination comes into picture and that's that's one of the major factor for us not planning it's a mix of both if you see in the last 20 years technology has exploded media has exploded the combination of both is such that you have everything available in your fingertips uh, in terms of information in terms of information about financial products also it's very readily available but in the whole uh, scheme of things what has not grown is awareness who has been talking about these things are intermediaries uh, media houses so they are talking about financial products or financial information uh, the stress is not on how i manage things how i should do certain things because i am i am sold to it. 
I, I am the product which is sold to, right? And that's why in the whole, uh, I would say last 20 years, the, there's, there's been information explosion happening. At the same time, relationship that people develop with their money has also gone down. So I don't think how my relationship with money is, how I should spend money and how do I want to structure it. Rather than I consume the information and based on the information, some impulsive decisions are made, which we call as financial planning. Professional working professionals who are earning good and who are at a very good stage, they struggle with the basic thing like, where do I spend my money? So when, when we ask them to articulate their expenses of, of their month, how much do you spend for dining? How much do you spend for travel? That's where you start struggling. That tells us that we are not putting our thought in how I, I should be spending. It is more of an splurging. It's more of uh, something pops up and I, I, I buy, I purchase things that may or may not be needed for me. Uh, so the one thing I've seen is that uh, us being not aware uh, about how do I want to spend my money. I often say this, that financial planning doesn't mean that you save and hold up everything, but you direct your money where you want it to go rather than someone else driving that decision. Maybe it's, maybe it's an e-commerce site or maybe it's someone else. Uh, it's more about being in charge of how you want to direct this energy called money in your life. I would say that money is a taboo in India. We've always told that paise ke baat mat karo. But if you see, for us, for a country like India, we are having a lot of population and in some way we are poor. So the two things we should be taught about are not spoken at all. Money management, I mean, I have to use it, right? And I need to know it. Be it a kid who is not even earning money, but he needs to spend money to get his chocolates, or a grandpa who is not earning money, but he still needs to spend money for his medicines, right? So that's one common thread that across ages is a skill set that is needed. But I think that's a crime that we have done in the education system, I would say. That we have not spoken enough and we have not created enough systems to teach about money management. The one thing I would do is that when I was taught maths in third grade, when I was told that if Ram had 5,000 rupees of sum, in that statement, I would give cash to that kid. Because once you start having that real money in your world, and the amount doesn't matter, that's where you, sh you start thinking about how I'm going to spend. Uh, so one thing I would change is that I would encourage that parents give pocket money and then have some accounting, some accountability done there so that they are spending their, their money in their way. Be, even if they're spending 80% in the chocolates, but at least you know that kid is spending that way. He feels empowered. And I think there's, that, that's, where, that, that's the start of relationship with money where you can start with. As we are moving ahead, explosion of information is going to be all the more. And I'm, what I'm scared about is that the, the information is going to come from the product manufacturers, from the newer product manufacturers who have their own vested interests. So till the time we don't create enough noise around it in the right way, financial education is going to be something which is people will discover. Uh, till the time it, it is not mainstream education and it's something uh, where you discuss over dinner tables. I, I see a very gloomy picture in fact. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is that it has to be a conscious effort in, in the education system and in the families uh, to, to change the relationship with money. When you're thinking about financial planning, think about how you want to spend the money. Uh, I think the first block is that we, we, we think that how do I want to invest the money? And because I've not done that, I don't know how to do that, I don't want to do that. So it's it's not something that you have not done. But you're thinking about it. You have to think about it first. 